Venturimeter is a device used to measure the rate of flow of liquid through a pipe. It, it itself is a pipe. It consists of two, two different cross sections. That is, there is a cross section. This is a this is a pipe of larger cross section. Let's call that cross section area as A1. And the velocity in here is V1. And there is a neck like structure, a cross section with smaller area. Let the area of cross section here be A2 and the velocity of the liquid in here be V2. Both these different cross sections are connected using a YouTube manometer. And YouTube manometer is filled with mercury of density of density rho m. Rho m is the density of the density of the mercury. Clear. And by applying the equation of continuity here, we have a1 v1 is equal to a2 v2. Since a area times the velocity, cross-sectional area times the velocity is a constant. So we have a1 by a2 is equal to v2 by v1. Let's call that as equation number one. Now, if you apply the Bernoulli's theorem at the section, let, let's call this as section one and let's call this as section two. If you apply Bernoulli's theorem in here, we have the pressure energy per unit volume V1 plus half rho V1 square, that is the kinetic energy per unit volume, plus the potential energy plus per unit volume, or in the region 1 is equal to that at the region 2, V2 plus half rho V2 square plus rho G H2. But you know, since or both the necks, both the cross sections are on the same horizontal level, if I take this as the ground, this height H1 is equal to this height. So both the heights remains the same, H1 equal to H2. So this term will get cancelled, rho GH1 equal to rho GH2. Clear. That is, you can cancel this term since we have H1 equal to H2. So the equation will be P1 plus half rho V1 square is equal to P2 plus half rho V2 square. Or P1 minus P2 is equal to half rho v2 square minus half rho v1 square. Clear. Now this pressure difference, this pressure difference is measured using the YouTube manometer here. This pressure difference is measured by the difference in the mercury level in the right and left limbs. Let's call that as HM. HM. Or let's simply say H, height difference in the manometer. So we have P1 minus P2 is equal to, we have H into density of mercury times gravity. So that's the pressure difference. And if you plug in the value in here, you will get, you have this is equal to H into rho M into G is equal to half rho. You can take you can take the V1 square outside. V1 square, this is equal to this will be V2 square by V1 square in order to compensate for this V1 square minus here it is 1. Clear. But we have v2 by v1 equal to a1 by a2, v2 square by v1 square. So this is equal to h rho m g is equal to half rho v1 square. Instead of v2 by v1, you can write a1 by a2 whole square or a1 square by a2 square. 
a1 square by a2 square minus 1. Clear. Now, if you simplify this, h pro mg is equal to half pro v1 square into a1 square minus a2 square divided by a2 square. So, uh, taking this to a2 square and all the terms to the left, you get 2h rho mg a2 square by rho times a1 square minus a2 square is equal to v1 square. Clear. That is V1 is equal to root of 2h rho m g a2 square divided by rho into a1 square minus a2 square. This a2 square you can take that out. So V1 equal to a2 root of 2h rho m g divided by rho into a1 square minus a2 square. So this is the expression for velocity. Velocity of the liquid through the smaller neck. So sorry, velocity of the liquid through the bigger neck, wider neck. Now, how will you find the rate of flow? We have from the equation of continuity, this area times volume, area times velocity, that is q equal to area times a1 v1 represents the rate of flow. Rate of flow, that is q is equal to a1 into, but v1 we know, a2 times root of 2h rho m g divided by rho into a1 square minus a2 square. So the rate of flow q will be a1 a2 times root of 2h rho m g divided by rho into a1 square minus a2 square. Here rho is actually the density of the liquid flowing through the pipe. Okay. So this is the expression for rate of flow. 